Hello, welcome back to the channel. And for those of you who haven't been here before, welcome to Greencraft HQ, i.e. my shed. So this video is a heads up for something that is happening later in the year that I want you to get involved in. Now for anyone who is into bushcraft you will be aware of the, the late great Moors Kahansky who we lost only a few years ago now to, to cancer. And cancer, uh, what can I say about cancer? It's something that, that touches everybody's lives. A couple of years ago, I lost my mum to cancer. I expect you probably also have been in a similar situation where you've lost someone either you're related to or someone you know to cancer. So last year, I was, I was thinking to myself, well, I hadn't long lost my mum. And I was also remembering more because I, I had, the great opportunity to meet Moors on a couple of occasions when he was here in the UK. And I thought, wouldn't it be great if, if we could do something to perhaps remember Moors by, but at the same time, do something to help in the fight against cancer. And knowing what an amazing community the bushcraft community is, I thought, well, if we perhaps pulled our minds and pulled our resources, is there something that we, as a community, could do? Now I realise that might be a little bit of a push because the bushcraft community is spread out all over the place. Deeper a worldwide community. So what could we do as individuals that would help towards this, this big effort? So the idea I came up with was on the weekend, it's the anniversary of Moores' passing, that we, we get out in the woods, wherever your bit of woods is, and we spend a bit of time remembering Moors whether it's sleeping in a super shelter or carving up one of his many, many craft projects or making up a frame saw or perhaps just using a moor knife and having a cup of tea. But something that we can remember moors by. It could be just sit in your hammock by the fire, read his copy of Bushcraft. I don't know, whatever it is. What I did uh, in down in, in, in Kent, in South East England where I live, yeah, is we, we set up a, a, a little gathering of people and everyone paid into a just giving page and we met up that weekend a lot of us slept in super shelters and we did moors type projects etc and it was absolutely brilliant but it wasn't just about my one in kent indeed they happened all over the uk in fact not just in the uk um they they happened over in canada as well and over in europe as well the one in canada uh John Mack and Kelly Halton, who worked with Moors, they did something, other. theirs was much colder than ours. I think we had just about freezing. I think theirs was about minus 40. But the point was, everybody got out and did something and everyone contributed to the Just Giving page. And I think we raised a few thousand pounds for cancer research. And that was absolutely amazing and i've got so many messages from people really kind messages saying that perhaps that they couldn't get along or they couldn't do it on that particular weekend but they were donating anyway and an amazing and a huge thank you to everybody but one of the other things that came out of it was there were an awful lot of people who perhaps didn't get the chance last year but wanted to do it this year and could we make it an annual event something that would happen every year to remember moors but also to raise money for cancer research. Clear a bit of ground. With that done, what I can then do is take the pack, put it underneath. So this is where you come in. We're organizing it again for this year. I'm gonna set up the Just Giving page. There will be a link in the description box. It'll be the same page as last year. And I'm gonna organize something down in Kent, but more of that in a bit. But what I want you to do, wherever you are, is set up your own little weekend. Get out on that weekend. Now that weekend is the 3rd and 4th of December. So it's going to be a bit of a cold one, but well, it just all adds to the fun. So get your mates together, some of your bushcraft buddies, if, if you belong to a, a, a bushcraft club or a bushcraft group, 
get them together on that weekend. I know we had quite a few of the different groups scattered around the UK, they met up on that weekend. A couple of the schools, uh, Wayne down at Forest Nights, they held a weekend on that weekend. As I said, the guys over at Caramat and Bear Lake Bushcraft over in Canada, they held one on that weekend. And that's what we're gonna do this year. Same thing again. We're gonna get all of us, including you, and whoever you wanna bring along with you, out into the woods and do something to remember Moors by. And it's gonna be a great, great weekend. So once you've got it organised and you've set the date and you've invited your friends along, all we want you to do is make a donation to that Just Giving page. As I said, the, the link is going to be in the description box down below. I'm not going to make anything out of it. It all goes to that Just Giving page and that Just Giving page will go towards cancer research because as I said at the beginning, it is something that affects all of us. I know a few people helped out last year, Simon a Bloke in the Woods, he did a video especially for it. Rob Evans, my mate down in Wales, he did a, a very touching video about how cancer has affected his life. And it is something that will affect all of our lives eventually. So let's get out there as a community and let's do something about it. Let's raise money towards cancer research so that perhaps one day, not everyone has to go through this. So a little bit more about the Kent Meet, the one that I'm going to organise. Again, this year it's going to be hosted by Craig down at Black Wolf Survival. We're going to run the same sort of workshops that we ran last year. We did uh, the Super Shelter workshop where a lot of people just stepped out with a wall blanket in a super shelter. Uh, we also did uh, making a bush ladder and we're going to do similar things this year. So we might do something like putting, a, putting together a frame saw. Um, as well as the bush ladders and a few perhaps of the, the craft projects that Moores was known for. What we're also going to do is on the Sunday morning, I'm trying to get something set up, which is basically a trade blanket. So anyone that wants to bring stuff along to trade or to sell, bring it along. You have to sign up for the whole weekend. You just can't come along on the Sunday morning, but it's going to be a great, great weekend. And on that Sunday morning, rather than just packing up and going home, people can buy or trade or whatever. If you want details of it, if perhaps if you want to bring stuff along to sell, then please email me in the description box down below. You'll find my email address. Um, and similarly, if you want to come along, again, email me down there and I will let you know the details. It will cost, I think last year we charged about £25 as a nominal fee, which isn't bad for camping um, for a whole weekend. If you also perhaps want to do something in your area, then again, email me again. I'm quite happy to give you sort of suggestions and ideas, but let's really try and make this a big, big event. We can get lots of people involved and we can raise lots and lots of money for cancer research. So if you want to get involved, then just remember, send me an email. My email address is in that links box down below. Now, a couple of other things that you need to know about. If you head over to my Etsy shop tonight, round about seven, eight o'clock, you will find a whole load of these are up for sale. And these are my survival scarves, many more survival scarves, and there's a load of them. It's first come, first served. Obviously, patrons have also already had the first dibs on these. The ones that are left, they're going up on the shop later on. So don't hang about, they usually go very, very quickly. If you do miss out on one of those, where well, you can also maybe get yourself one of my little green craft patches, sew them on your smock, sew them on your day sack and show your support for the channel. There's a few other bits that are going to be coming up soon. I'm literally, this week, I will be cutting a load more of the guide haversacks. Now these didn't last very long. Last time they went up, boom, they went down. Uh, this time the colorways is pretty much all going to be the Coyote brand. They seem to be the color uh, that you guys want. <coughs> There's also going to be, uh, sometime between now and Christmas, a couple of extra new products. I'm going to put up 
uh, some of the ones like the cuts kit I'm also going to put up the, the little fire starter pouches but it's a couple of new items I'm not going to tell you what they are if you want to know what they are if you go over and become a patron the link is in the box down below and help support the channel they already know what those new items are and I'm giving them updates on how they are coming along as they come along so get involved with the channel have a look in that links box down below if you want to become a patron become a patron if you want to check out the stuff in the shop again it's the Etsy over onto Etsy uh, it's called Greencraft shop but the link is in that description box down below I think that's everything I've been Neil and until next time stay safe <coughs> I've taken most of my wall layers off and it is very very warm <laughs>